first at four, could McCoy Stadium have new life? Thanks for joining us. I'm Kayla Fish. And I'm Sarah Grinelli. The stadium, which is set to be torn down for a new high school, getting a last minute bid for a revitalization. But how realistic is this plan? 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us live now from Pawtucket with the details. Matt. Well, Pawtucket City officials and the man who wants to buy McCoy Stadium touring it just after 11 o'clock this morning. As we've reported, a new high school is set to be built at this location. But if I can use a baseball analogy here for just a moment, it almost feels like that high school plan still being supported by Mayor Donald Grebian has a big lead in the bottom of the ninth. But as Red Sox fans know all too well, anything can happen. I'm dead serious. Talking the talk and walking the walk. That's how Stefan Soloviev explains the way he does business. I'm more optimistic than before I went in there. I'll tell you that for sure. You know, we'll see what happens. Obviously, it's up to the people of Rhode Island at the end of the day. But uh, on my end, I think I can take care of it. McCoy Stadium, a place that has the hearts of so many. Decades of history and memories for the state of Rhode Island. The former home of the Paw Sox. Something Soloviev believes could once again happen under the bright lights of Pawtucket. You know, my my first choice would be a uh, single A Red Sox affiliate. I think it'd do great if it has some affiliation with the Red Sox. And if not, an independent team, I think would still do well here. Soloviev offering the appraised value plus a million dollars for the stadium, saying he believes it would cost much less than 100 million to bring the stadium back to life. I have to figure out the schools. I can't walk away. I won't walk away from that. But Pawtucket Mayor Donald Grebian saying not so fast. In the perfect world, if I could do both as the mayor, I'd love to do both, right? But I'm always going to put the education first. Back in November of 2022, it was voted to be torn down to make way for a new high school. Grebian making it very clear that's still the plan. Right now, that's off the table. We're not moving, right? It's, and respectfully, they're going to come back and put a plan. So we're trying to figure out how we do that. So when they put in their official proposal, uh, we'll, we'll see how we gather, th uh, work through that. And coming up tonight, new at five, we hear from a McCoy, the name behind the stadium. Reporting live in Pawtucket, Matt Paddock, 12 News. McCoy Stadium is slated for demolition, as we've told you, to make way for a new state of art high school. But is there still time to save it? Earlier this month, we told you about a billionaire's interest in revitalizing the landmark. And today, our cameras were there for the big meeting with the mayor and a tour of McCoy. And while they were meeting, several Paw Sox fans showed up and one of them happened to be a part of the McCoy family. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock is live from Pawtucket with the story. Matt. Well, Kate McCoy's uncle is Thomas McCoy, the formerly proclaimed Prince of Pawtucket, the man whose name still flies high above the city here at McCoy Stadium. Hi, my name's Kate McCoy. I have a story to tell. My family has a story to tell, and we'd love to share it with you. Baseball has always been considered America's pastime, and since 1942, the bright lights, the crack of the ball off the bat, and the classic peanuts and cracker jacks had been bringing Rhode Islanders to Pawtucket. It would be a tra tragedy to lose it. I grew up at the stadium. My uncle would take me here all the time growing up. We have to try to save it. While she never knew him, Kate's great uncle Thomas P. McCoy's name is as recognizable as ever. You come here and you like travel back in time slightly. It's coming here with my little mitt for thinking I would catch a baseball. McCoy donning a home of history and magical memories alike in the city of Pawtucket. He was always a hero to me. But in 2020, the former home to the Paw Sox would be no more. And in just two short years, a vote to demolish it and put a new high school in its place. On the uh, ballot, I didn't see that it said anything about demolishing McCoy Stadium, but that there was an education bond. I don't believe that any of us have really been outspoken because everything has just seemed to move very quickly. But then a possible miracle for McCoy. I'm dead serious. Stefan Soloviev making a last ditch effort to purchase McCoy Stadium and bring baseball back to Pawtucket. Mayor Donald <laughs> Grebian making it very clear today though, for now, the plan moves forward with building a new high school. In the perfect world, if I could do both as the mayor, I'd love to do both, right? But I'm always going to put the education first. And while it's still a long shot that McCoy Stadium will stay, Mayor Grebian says once he receives an official proposal, they will go from there. Reporting live in Pawtucket, Matt Paddock, 12 News.